So what do you sell? Traditional or sustainable cleaning programs? Uh, I was talking to an individual not too long ago and uh, he says, well, it really depends on what the customer wants. And my response to him was, uh, but you're the expert. Uh, what would you sell to that customer uh, if you're the expert? And surprisingly, the answer was whatever he wanted. So what do you sell, traditional or sustainable? Uh, now, there was a time when people could say, well, we don't want the uh, sustainable programs because they cost too much. And that was a legitimate uh, concern. But in today's market, in today's world, uh, we owe it to ourselves and to our customers to sell these sustainable programs. They should be a standard operating procedure. Uh, again, aren't we the experts? Uh, that's what it says in our brochures and our business cards. It implies that we are the experts in cleaning. We know what's best for your facility. And if we're saying that uh, we have a sustainable cleaning program where we use chemicals that are safe and we have a good dust control program because of the vacuums we use and the microfiber, uh, we use uh, less chemical because of the dispensing systems, and then we say that's one program, and then we offer you the traditional programs, the programs that have chemicals that impact the uh, allergies and impact the health of the people that use it, the people that occupy occupy the building. And then we use vacuums that emit dust that are taken in by the uh, janitorial people. And uh, we use uh, machines that uh, use a lot of water and moisture to clean the carpets. In turn, we have buildings that are uh, conducive to impacting our asthma in a negative way. When you look at the schools and you use a cleaning program that's the old traditional way, um, we create an environment that's not conducive for learning. So what do you sell? A traditional or do you sell a cleaning? Uh, when they say it's too expensive, are you able to explain how in reality it's really cost effective? For instance, in a school district, if they've cut their cleaning from five to three days, uh, it really is, if by implementing a sustainable program, you could really have a cleaner facility even though you're only cleaning three days a week because of what you're actually using to clean and capture uh, the dust. Um, so it's easy to say, I'll let the customer decide. But if we're the professionals, if we're the experts, and we want to set ourselves apart from the rest of the competition or the rest of the companies, then we want to really make sure that we're selling the programs that are good for them. Now, you might look at your website. Does your website say that you're a green company and yet you don't sell those programs, you give those uh, prospects the option? So this is a subject that we'll expand upon a little bit further at a later time, but really it behooves us to examine what we really are selling, tradition or sustainable.